Episode 13, The Nuclear Man. So this episode is pretty much all about Ronnie and Professor Stein. And it was a pretty crazy episode. Um, actually, over here on my TV, I'm watching the stream TV, like the YouTube channel. They have like this live show. And Robbie Mel's on it. And he just said the most fucking crazy ass shit. And I'm just like, oh my god. Oh my god. So I'm gonna skip this. I'll go back to this late. This this back later. Let me go straight to what Robbie and Mel said. Uh, I didn't want to watch this before I made my own video because then I would have like said, because this then would have persuaded me to be like, oh my god, yeah. Because I, I kind of want to tell you guys what I thought of the episode without being persuaded, or what you know what I missed from the episode. I usually get from this like something that I didn't know, like Linda Park. I didn't know she was Wally West's uh, husband until they said it on the thing. Anyways, but Robbie Mel, oh my god, he's on this. I love Robbie Mel, yes. Um, so Robbie Mel said, what if Cisco is lying? So in this episode, there's like blood on the wall when Barry's uh, mother got murdered. And there's... Two blood samples in there. Two blood sample samples. And one of them is of Barry Allen. Older Barry Allen. And the other one... He didn't know. And Robbie and Mal said, how about if he was lying to Joe? Because he said he asked if it was Harrison, like, to go it with hot Harrison. And maybe Cisco lied for Harrison, you know? Like... I get the feeling that he did, and I think there's a spider over there, okay, but I get the feeling that he totally could have lied, because why would Robbie say that, you know what I mean, like, uh-oh, uh-oh, alright, let's get to the episode, so, I'm gonna start off with the most funny fucking scene in the world, so, <laughs> When they were talking to Barry about, like, him dating and going too fast, they're like, <laughs> they're like, yeah, you can, um, <laughs> he's like, yeah, um, because of how fast you are, you kind of go fast, you know? <laughs> and then I just start laughing, and of course, this is all talking, they're all talking about sex here. And I'm watching this with my parents, well, my stepdad and my mother, and they're just like looking at me, and I'm like, oh my god, because I was just laughing. I was, uh, <laughs> I was actually eating dinner. I was eating rice, and I just fucking choked on my rice because <laughs> because this goes like, you just need to think of dead puppies, a lot of dead puppies. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god. Because my brain is automatically dirty and getting the, him saying that and I was just like <laughs> Dude, this was literally my prime one of my favorite lines in the whole entire fucking series Besides from the first episode when he said lightning gave me abs But like that <laughs> It's like you gotta think a lot of dead puppies. It's like oh my god because he goes to <laughs> And then the next scene with her and him are making out. <sighs> and he started vibrating. <laughs> Just give me a little bit. Give me a bit. Was that? 
And he's like, oh, no, 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 no. And she's like, no, it felt good. And I'm like, <laughs> of course it felt good because he just started a vibrator. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. Get back onto the top of your hand. So another scene that I'm talking about is when Flash went to go get Ronnie and Mal, and he's like, "Please don't flame on." And I'm like, "Oh my God, that reference to Marvel though, because everyone knows who's the one person that says flame on." Human Torch from Marvel. Boom, Marvel DC crossover right there. Boom, 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 boom. They're in the same universe, guys. Da -da 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 -da. Sorry, I'm just, you know. Today's been a good day, guys. Yesterday was a good day, like a really good day, because I was thinking about Channing Tatum Wolf. But today's an even better day because fucking Spider Man and Channing Tatum Wolf. Alright, let's get back to the topic at hand again. <laughs> you know what's funny? Is it, 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 another, like, it wasn't like funny as in, like, I just laughed for like three minutes. Um,. <laughs> Sorry, Ty. Uh, another funny scene was with uh, when he like left Linda, and he actually ran. He actually like jogged. Like Grant Gustin actually jogged. It's like it's weird to see Barry Allen jog. It is really weird. It's weird to see him run at a normal human's pace, and it's just like, oh, okay. And I always, just, I always like to write that down when he runs at a normal human pace. And damn, Iris is a motherfucking skank. Iris is a skank. She is a skanky skank 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 skank. And my battery's gonna die, so this might may or may not cut out. Um, and damn, old Barry. I had to tell my mother about like Barry Allen went back to the past to go save his mother, found out he couldn't, and saved him himself. And I was like, damn, oh my god, old Barry Allen, oh my god, they have the, they have the dear name of old Barry Allen. Oh, because the whole time I'm like, either it's going to be Harrison Wells' blood, some other reverse flash blood, or Barry Allen's blood. It's like, oh. And guys, I cried in this episode. <coughs> I have a headache now. Um, from crying because that ending scene like I know he's alive but that ending scene when she's like Ronnie if you're in there I love you okay I love you and then he pulls her in for a kiss and they back up and he's like uh, Stein goes that was from Ronnie and I was like Okay. But I cried and I'm crying now and you can hear my voice now because my nose like as soon as I start crying my nose gets immediately stuffed. Uh God it I cried and I know it wasn't like that side of a thing but it was just so romantic because you know like Stein he doesn't have any feelings for Caitlyn. It's Ronnie that's inside him that does you know and giving her that kiss was just like I also, I kind of, it's kind of funny to me. I'm not, I mean, not funny, funny, but it was kind of funny that it, he was like natural selection with Darwin. And I know everything about Darwin because we went through, I went through a whole year of school in science class just learning about Darwin. So I know everything there is to know about Charles Darwin. Like he married his, um, like sick, second cousin or something like that. It's, it's fucked up. Anyways. So, when he said that, it's natural selection and it picks the best parts to survive. And I was like, wow, that was, that was mean. Saying that Stein is better than Ronnie. Like, that is horrible to think about, you know? Just like, why, why? Why was that? Like, they're both smart. And also what Stein said, too, about Ronnie saying, oh... 
give me some uh, blah, 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 from fancy wine. And he's like, huh, maybe because it's, bo- it's a different body that has different taste buds. Maybe I like beer. I'm like, what the fuck? Just because you're in a new body, like, how about if Ronnie doesn't like beer? You know, you just like, I don't know why I got so angry for that, but I did. And it's just like, it, it's kind of a form of like racism, but it's, it, you know, it's like, uh, not sexist. I don't know how to call it. When you, when you think of a guy like only like Channing Tatum, you think abs, he's like abs, but he doesn't have abs. He doesn't need to have abs. He's not him for abs. That's not the reason why, you know, you think of, um, Robert Downey Jr. taking drugs and stuff, but that's not, he doesn't have to take drugs to be himself. And I just felt like that, I don't know why that hurts me so much. That just gets, I don't know why that gets under my skin. Um, cause I don't, I, I, I just don't know. I don't, stereotypes, I just don't, I don't, I didn't realize how, um, hard, like it, it hits me like my brain just does not like those are one of the things that I hate I guess and I just kind of figured that out right now that I really dislike stereotypes but uh I I, I don't know I'll go figure that out I go, I'll go sit on my bed just like talk to my brain like what the fuck happened in this episode with you because I cried literally Agent Carter that came right after I cried through the whole fucking Agent Carter because of that ending scene with the kissing Guys, it's horrible being a hopeless romantic because I'm a hopeless romantic and this shit happens all the time. Alright, that's gonna be it. Hope you did enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe on which book plus compare A Avengers.